Guys, you are now watching a clip from the Fellas podcast. You can listen to the full podcast exclusively on Spotify for free. So make sure to head over there, leave us a five star rating if you enjoyed, and follow the podcast. Like I love, like I love, similarly mm. to you, like traveling, yeah. like experience, putting yourself mm. in maybe some slightly uncomfortable positions yeah. or like situations. Like that appeals to me quite a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and one of like the biggest one, and I, I, this was actually how I stumbled across mm. your content was the North Korea trip. Oh, um, yeah. And because it's North Korea to me is just fascinating. Yeah, I yeah. loved. Uh, sorry, I don't love the idea of it. Don't get it twisted, right? But I just like the stories around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So. Can you just tell me a little bit mm. about your trip to North Korea? First of all, it's not like you can jump on Skyscanner and just yeah, yeah, head no, on over. Definitely, definitely. So first yeah. of all, why would you go there? Because you've seen, um, what was the <laughs> name of the, the American bloke that went over there? Supposedly took a poster. Otto Umbia, yeah. Yeah, and then came yeah. back and died a few days later. He t- he, wait, what, what, so this, what, what this, happened there? this American guy went over there, presumably on one yeah. of these trips, um, had like nicked or the, the the story is that he nicked a poster tried to like sneak it out the country mm. he'd been captured so a, ma- a mad thing about that i yeah. actually went with the same tour company that he went with oh my god oh yes. boy Bro. what yeah, and, uh, it was so mad. wait was this before or after did you go before or after him uh oh well after well after well right, i okay. don't know i definitely went after i don't know yeah. how long after though i okay. think it, i think it was well no couple trump was in so it must have been a couple of years yeah so did he yeah. did the guy die or so yeah so no, anyways but... after a long like time of and he's clearly been like tortured like to the high like this guy is a shell yeah. of what he was but do you know what though like they they like i'm, I'm not like going against yeah. it i'm not saying like i'll sit on the fence with this one but yeah. there is like the, I, I would for that Otto Wombia thing, I'd highly, and people who were listening who were interested, I'd read, there's a GQ article on that whole... That one there? Um, G- have a look. Yeah. The Untold Story. Yeah, so this right. one, The Untold Story. So I would highly recommend everyone read that. So you think so you think there's more to it than just like Well, there's the way stuff in that report. Like yeah. again, I'm not like I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist. No, 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 of course. I, I of don't course. I don't want no, to say well, look, we, yeah. I, I am a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> so I don't mind chatting about yeah, it. I stuff wanna hear like it. I wanna I, hear I, it. I, I don't wanna I like I'm not say I'm not like pro North Korea yeah, at all. Okay, right, 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 I'm not right. pro anything. I'm just a normal Welsh ad traveling around, right? Yeah, fine. But fine. you listen. You, you, you just read different things and whether it's propaganda or not, who knows, right? Yeah. But it's just, like you said, it's easy. There's two sides to everything and it's interesting. And that even people when I was there, like being with the same tour company, they told me like the story of like what actually happened from their side and stuff. Right. You read that. But in, in this report, and I'm not saying it's true. Of I'm course, not saying it's true. But in that report, it says like his, um, so obviously he was in like a coma for like yeah. 12 months before they sent him back. And obviously when you're in a coma, you're in bed and like you get bed sores and stuff because you're just lying in bed, aren't you? So they have to like keep rotating the body. They have to like massage it and stuff to, so you're not like thing. And when that body came back to the US, they were saying like it was in the best condition they've ever seen a body in a coma for 12 months. Right. Do you know so what I mean? They, yeah. So it didn't, so it didn't come back like, oh my Fucked God, up. he's been battered. Right. It was, it was almost like the level of care that he had mm. but then obviously like it's a conspiracy or you know it's unknown how he actually got to that point i've heard things saying that he tried to like hang himself or strangle him. like he tried to yeah. commit suicide and then they've caught him in like the middle stage where right. he starved his brain of enough oxygen to do the damage but he's equally not died yeah. so he's in that thing or whether they've given medication that he's had an allergic reaction to which is like put him in a coma so Again, There's loads he, of different things. Who around, knows? Right? He, it, like, and he could have been tortured. Who am I to say that he yeah. hasn't? But like, th- there's just there's different th- there's different there's stories different about versions. it. Is and him being poisoned? Is him being poisoned, poisoned, after, him after being poisoned like one of the theories at all? Possibly, yeah, yeah. Possibly. Well, again, with the medication, if they give him something. But again, like, I, I don't want to speculate on that and say that I'm right because there's no right answer, right? Yeah. But like, the guy who I went to North Korea with one of the coolest guys I've ever met, right? Uh, he was an Aussie guy. and um, So, sorry, he's your, you travelled with him or he was there waiting for you? Uh, no, he met me in China and then we went and with And then him, you both went together. Went with uh, him, how did yeah. you meet this guy? So, I don't, I don't even know. How did I meet Matt? Um, 
just through a company, basically. Okay. Like, yeah, just like from obviously traveling loads and you speak to different people and then you meet different people in different cool. countries. Oh, I can sort this, I can sort that. And it just sort oh, of got okay, there. Got but it was like a group thing. It wasn't just me and him. There was yeah. like 20 of us or 10 of us yeah. sort of thing. But yeah, he'd been to North Korea like 200 times and he would knew people who'd been arrested in North Korea, like close friends. And they, they say, like, they get them on telly and they're like, right, 50 years in a labor camp. Right, and everybody's they like, do, yeah. yeah, but they, they don't actually send them there. So his right. mate got a public thing with Australia, public trial that he'd done something, like he'd posted a picture and put propaganda yeah. or something. And then they use him as a political pawn with as leverage with Australia, right? Yeah. So he said that they'd be like, and again, this is not like accurate, like with, with time course. scales, but long story short, they'd done a public trial. He'd got X amount of years in a labor camp, but, but they just put him in a hotel room. Right. And they, he was just like, like a hotel room, like prison, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but, yeah. you know, he'd get fed and watered every day and he was just bored in a hotel room. And then he got released like three years later when there's some like trade off or, you know, they, they just use it to their wow. advantage. So they Were don't- Were you not scared of that going, going there knowing that you could have been used as one of these pawns? Po po possibly. Like I was a bit like, cause I was even saying to Matt, I was like, Matt, would they like know my videos and stuff. And he said, like, obviously not before, but they'll definitely know now because I actually really want to go back. I really want to go back. But then there is a bit of a, oh, did they like my videos? Did they not? Yeah. Are they going to, oh, this guy's coming back. Great. You know? Yeah. And then that worries me slightly, but I do really want to go back. That is scary. So, yeah. uh, so you just, uh, what, first of all, what was the reason why, did you just want to go out there just out of pure curiosity just yeah. to see what see well, what it was like, and then you mentioned you went with like a tour group. Is is that yeah. something you ha you can't just go there and explore it? Because from what mm. I've heard, you can't just go there and just like wander around. No, you can't at all. Well, there's yes and no. Basically, you can't to that degree. But like when you're there, like you've obviously got a guide. You've got to stay with them all the time. But like people are like, oh, you know, you watch the Vice documentary and people go, oh, everybody's acting. Everybody's acting, right? There's yeah, it's like one big. But it's like, play. It's, but it, like for me, it can't be. It was just like like there was too many changes in the schedule. Do you know what I mean? We'd go, we'd like on the schedule, it'd be like, we'd go into this place and then they'd go, oh, we haven't really got enough time. Let's go there instead. So do you know what I mean? It, we were moving too quick for mm. for it to be a show. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. And then, you know, it was like, you'd, you'd drive, you'd take different routes and you'd see people living their life and stuff. And yeah, it, it wasn't actors, but yeah, going back to like, can you move around? Like at night, you'd be in the hotel. You couldn't like just go out the hotel and walk down the street. But equally, it wasn't like super strict. You know, you could have a beer. There'd be like a beer garden outside. You could go and chill in there. Be a karaoke room, a swimming pool. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. you could do you could do stuff. It wasn't just like. And then even like I did a video there about. I don't know if you've seen it about the tourist beach. So yeah. we went to this beach, and honestly, it was mental. So we went to this beach. It was dead. I was like, this is a bit weird. And, but then you look to your right, and this there's a big long stretch of beach now, and you look to your right and there's this like massive fence. And then beyond the fence, it's just rammed. You can't even see stand, it's just people, right? And I'm like, I, I said to the North Korean guy, he was super cool, I went, what's all that about? And she was like, oh, that's the local beach. This and is this the is tourist beach. Wow. And I was like, can we go to the local beach? And she's like, oh, no, 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 no. But, <laughs> but the, the, yeah, chat, chat, yeah. well, but there was a fence, right? The fence at the middle, when it had like gone by the water, it had got like eroded, so the fence had broke. So I was like, I'm getting over that fence, right? Mate, you no, are, bro. No, no, bro. Even the thought of that. Dude, Even the bro. thought of that. That's yeah. going to be you. Yeah, man. Oh, Jesus. So you're not allowed yeah. to talk to any of the locals, I think. No, assume, you are. You're, you're allowed are. to speak to them. Like, it's, like it's, it's relaxed to a certain point. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a yeah. strange country. Um, but, you know, that's the fascinating bit, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But, like... So, so, so yeah. did you did you get did you go to the fence? Yeah, so I walked, I got over the fence, and then there was like a jetty on the local side, and all the local people like fishing for tea and stuff like that. And there was like um, like a North Korean like anthem, like karaoke song, like I don't know, like a Bohemian Rhapsody for us. Yeah. They've got a song called Bangap Somnida, which I sing 
a hundred times between all those North Korean videos. I've actually got it tattooed on my leg as well, yeah. right? But like, I went down the jetty and because I can't speak Korean and they can't speak English, I just started singing this song and everybody just joins in and I'm just singing Bang Up Somni Da with like all these locals and they're fishing and they're all like giving them high fives and stuff. Wow. And like, yeah, it was mental, like mental. That's, that's just not how, I need to that, that is not how yeah. I envision, mm. envision it because from, from the photos that I have seen and, and the videos and stuff, mm. it's just, it just seems almost like very sterile. Mm. Yeah, it's not, and that, do you know what? That's what I try and do with my videos as well, right? Is that like, I, I, every time I go to a country, I don't think to myself, oh, I want to make this place look great. And I equally go, I don't want to make this, I, like, I want to make this place look shit. I just go and I'm like, and I try and get this across in the video, which hopefully I do, but it's like, I just want to, I, I'm not saying I'm seeing it like North Korea, let's, like, even though I was there for like, two weeks, three weeks. Wow, like, you were there for quite a while. Yeah. Actually. I thought you'd just be there for a while. Yeah, week. like literally went to the north border, the south border, yeah. the east and the west. Well, did the whole thing, right? But, wow. but equally, do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't even see a percent of it. Right. Do you know what I mean? So like, what happens in the other 99%, probably a lot of stuff that, yeah. you know, you hear about labor camps, of course there's going to be them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm not clear, like if you go to London, like for a week, right. they're going to show you Westminster and London Eye. They're not going to take you. They're not going to take you here. They're not going to take <laughs> So yeah. like, that's the thing. They're not going to like, so I'm not claiming to have seen it. There's obviously a lot of dodgy stuff that goes on it. And yeah. there's some amazing documentaries on it as well. Like The Mole, I don't know if you've ever seen that. No. The Mole infiltrating North Korea. It's like, mate, watch that genuinely. The Mole. It, the Mole. Like, um, it's, Is it it's on mega. Netflix? Um, BBC, I think. Okay. But it was like, just watch it. I won't even okay. ruin it for you. It's, okay. it's, it's like mega, but it's all done on body cams and stuff and actors. Mate, it's mega. Watch oh, it. that's cool. Have they got a nightclub there? Um, karaoke bar. That's their main, like, nighttime yeah, thing. Yeah, it's like karaoke. It's like very sort of like Asian, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, like J Japanese. And stuff. Yeah, karaoke. I love it. Yeah. Wow. I do like a little karaoke bar, to be fair. I could honestly, in though, there. like, there's so much I could tell you about North Korea. I don't even know where to start. It's just I really one of those. Start. But it was like, like some weird things. Um, What's the food like? Food like any, any good? <sighs> Horrendous, mate. Oh, oh really? Oh. Yeah. Like, and that's the thing is like, obviously as a tourist, and you can tell like, when you go for the meals, they're all like, obviously planned out. You don't just like, go to Mackey's or anything like yeah. that. It's like a, you know, you go there and it's like, oh yeah, we're going this place at three o'clock and there's a scheduled lunch. Mate, it's horrendous, oh, mate, honestly. No. Like, like, you I, wouldn't be able mate, to do it. No, I don't know. Oh, well, two things, right? First thing is, I genuinely, I laugh about it now, but I was so ill. There was one, there was one, my stomach, mate, I've never been that ill. Like, there was one day I was just crippled, right? And then another story is, they go, oh, who wants the special? This guy's like, who wants the special? <laughs> no, oh, no, no wait, wait, wait for this, right? He goes, who wants the special? I went, what's the special? He goes, dog soup. I'm oh, like, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then, yeah, he goes, he, no, up. I swear down, he goes, dog soup. And I was just like, oh my God. Then, I, I, like, as a joke, I just went, what? Uh, no, what did what I breed? say? What breed? Oh, yeah, no, what did I say to him? I said, um, oh, is it a Yorkshire Terrier? Give me a fucking snack. No, that was it, actually. He goes, dog, he goes, dog soup. And I went, I went, oh God. I, 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 I just looked like, oh my God. And the guy saw me and he goes, no, no, Simon, don't worry. Only silly little street dog. <laughs> that's what he said. <laughs> That's what I said. I, 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 like, word dog. for word, that's what the Korean guy said. It was like, don't worry, he's not a proper dog. It's just like a silly little street one. <laughs> so did Swear you have it? Did I bollocks? Oh, man, I want to oh, try a dog, no. you know. But, like, there was a few... There was, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know, you there know. There was a few people on the thing that <laughs> ate it, but I was like, what does it taste like? And they were like, ah, oh, it's all right. It's <laughs> one of those, so you got to try it. You just got to give it one try, time, mate. Got got one time, time, Honestly, you couldn't give me a million quid to try that. Oh, I really? Yeah. 